The Transformer widget is for doing rotations and scaling and you can do a lot of effects with the transform widget and what we want to build today is this here so we want to interact with a card and then rotate it and every time if you release the fingers from the device then it will go back to the origin position therefore i created here this widget moving card and the first thing we like to do is to create here a constructor with uh, a URL front and back and there we have two cards basically so I have here an assets and here you have front and also the back image and this is basically what's going here inside and this is how the main looks like so we simply put here our assets file inside into our constructor and now we can get started and build this application which you saw in the beginning therefore we first of all like to create here a variable is front so we can determine if we want to show the front image or if we want to show the back image. And in our build method, we simply create here then this is front, then we want to show the front image and otherwise we show the back image. So it's pretty simple and we can always toggle it with this field here. And now comes the interesting part. We create here this vertical drag field and there inside we can put a value between 0 and 360 degrees. And now we want to use this, therefore we create here in our build method a transform widget and then we create here our matrix identity which means basically that in the beginning we have a normal state. And then we add here two methods, so the set entry and rotate x methods. The first one is for giving it a 3D effect and the second one is for the rotation and we want to rotate around the x axis. So if you remember a little bit mathematics, we have different axes and the first one is the X, then we have Y and we also have Z and you can then decide around which axis you want to rotate and we want to rotate against the X axis. And if I would hot restart now this application with this vertical drag of 180, then let's see what happens. And then you see we have here this card flipped around by 180 degrees and therefore it is not really centered. So maybe we'll also want to center it. So I put here this alignment property inside. And now if I hot restart, then you see it is aligned to the center and we have this flip inside. And you can also change it here to different values. So for example, minus 30 degrees. Then you can see it is flipping into this direction by 30 degrees. And you can also choose, for example, 30 degrees, then he is going into the other direction by 30 degrees. And basically you can set here every value inside between 0 and 360 degrees. We want to have it in the initial state to 0, so it will have this look and feel. And for this back image, we will also want to put it into a transform widget. And here I put also a transform identity inside and on this we call the rotate x and we rotate it here by pi which means 180 degrees and we also want to set this alignment here. And this means every time this is front is set to false then we also have this transform on our image and this is later needed because we want to have that our image looks right in, with the same rotation. The next step is to put here around our transform widget a gesture detector. And here basically we have to call these three methods on vertical drag start, drag update and drag end. And this means if we start with the vertical drag here with this interaction, then this is called and all the time we drag here around, this is here called. And at the end, if we leave the animation and go away with our fingers from our device screen, then this is called. And we want to implement first of all the drag update method. So we always take this details and the delta and we add it to our vertical drag to get the new vertical drag position. And this is what we then put into our set state method. So every time we drag here around, the state gets updated and then this rotation will be here reflected with our transform widget. And we can try this out right now. So if I hot restart, you will see that we can transform here our widget. 
But right now, if I just try here to end this, then he will stay at this position. And what we want to do is also to go always back to the initial position. And we also want that if we flip here around more than 180 degrees, that the backside is showing because right now he's showing exactly the same card and we want to always show then the different card which we have. And this is what we then will toggle with this is front boolean property. All right, the next thing is that we also create here an animation controller and an animation. And this is therefore that we can always, if we drag here around, we want that this is automatically animated back to the initial position and therefore we create this controller. Then we create an init state method and here inside we create our animation controller and I put it here to a low value. And I also have here this vsync, so make sure that you also put this with ticker provider state mixin inside. Now we go here to our on vertical drag end. So every time we end with the interaction here, we want that it is going back to the initial state and therefore we go here into this drag end method and we simply create here a tree animation. And the begin of our tree animation is our current state, which is the vertical drag. So this is our current state. And then we want to animate to an end state. And therefore I put here this end variable inside. And now we have to determine in which direction we want to end. And here in this end variable property, we have zero or 360 degrees. And this is done because we always look for the shortest direction because if we, for example, drag until here and then keep our fingers away, then it should go here and it shouldn't go like into the other direction and turn here 360 degrees around to get to the right position or uh, let's say 180 degrees at least. And therefore, if you maybe drag around a lot and then it should not go like again backward, it should directly go here like to the initial state. And therefore we have here two different properties which we check. And here for our animation we need to call then animate controller. So we take our controller which we have created in the beginning to do the animation. And then we add also an listener to our animation. And here inside we want to basically every time put our animation value which we have calculated with the stream animation we want to put it into our vertical drag and we also call the set state so that the UI get refreshed every time we get here a new animation value. And to start the animation, I put here this controller forward inside and this means every time we end with this interaction, then it should start this animation. And yeah, I think we can try this right now out. So let's hot restart this application. And now if I drag here around and then let it loose, then you see that this animation is going back. And if I try this multiple times, then you see it's not really working because we always have also to reset our controller. And this is what we want to do in our drag start. So every time we start with this interaction, we want to make sure that we reset our controller so that he can do the animation. And we also want to put our initial state inside to make sure that everything works correctly. So I will always have this initial state of is front true. So he will always show the front image and also the vertical drag is to zero. And now if I hot restart this application, then you see, okay, I can drag here around and I can also do this multiple times and he always will go back to the right position. And like you can also see, if I go, for example, here, he takes the minimum distance and this is because of this end, which we have defined here. So you will always choose here the minimum distance to get back to the initial state. What you notice probably is that we have every time right now the same card. So we want to change the card depending if we go here over some certain degree. And therefore I create here a new method and therefore we want to set here this image site and basically depending on our drag feature, how much we dragged around, then we want to show the front picture and otherwise we want to show the back picture. And this is front will then change here our image, URL front image or our URL back image. And then in our vertical drag update, we will every time call this set image site. So he will determine 
through every interaction which we do here, our image side and then display the right side of our image. So let's also try this out. So if I, for example, now drag here to the other side, then you see he has switched the side. And if I go here back, he is again going to the right side. And I also can do this from the other position. So if I go here around, then he is changing the side and also again back. And the last thing to mention here is that also if we, for example, drag here around to this location and then we go with our fingers away from the screen, then he will animate back and you see, oh, he has the same image. And therefore we every time go here away with our fingers from the screen, we want to add here in our listener also this method set image side. So he will always determine the right side also if we have this in our animation. And now if I hot restart and go here to this other side and then I go with the fingers away from the screen, then he will also animate correctly back. And also if I do this from the other side, he will always animate correctly back to the initial position. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.